Game 7, before Game 7, KC gave the most incredible motivational speech ever that I ever heard. We kept waiting for him to start the speech, get the the, uh, the prep, whatever he was going to do, and he didn't keep waiting, waiting. We said, Come on, about time for the game to start. So Case walked up to the board and he said, men, you're the greatest players in the world. Go out and prove it. Wow. And that, and that preceded what Max said. Well, boys, get on my back because I'm taking you to the promised land. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he gave that, that, it, that was the end of his speech. And we, wow. we, waited for, we were waiting for the rest of it, but he said, you're the greatest team in the world. There's Go out and prove it. It was unbelievable. It, we, we almost beat the door down to get out there. We were so pumped up. <laughs> that was the conversation. Maxwell told us before the game, he said, boys, jump on my back because I'm carrying you tonight. And he said it, and he went out and ensured that he was able to do that. Max rises to the occasion on the big game. It was before the game, you know, we were going to play the Lakers. And game six out in L.A., I'm going in for a layup. And James Worthy, you know, he does what, a cardinal sin that you never do to any and Maxwell causes the steal. And here's Henderson. Two on one Boston. Maxwell is pushed and knocked away by Worthy. And Maxwell doesn't like it. And now the Lakers are giving the Celtics a dose of their own medicine. Well, I don't think it was the same caliber of hit as the one that uh, Mikhail gave to uh, Rambis. That was a direct I walk, And I remember walking out thinking, I'm going to get his ass. I'm going to get his ass. <laughs> and, we had, and we had game seven. And I remember, I remember saying that. I was in the locker room, and it was Larry was in there, and, and, all, and ML, and everybody was in there talking. I said, don't you worry. Y'all ain't got the word. Y'all get on my <laughs> I'm going to win this damn championship for you. And <laughs> when I said that, I remember J guarding James Wor or James Worthy guarding me. And, and McAdoo, my, one of my best friends, was hurt and named the play. And when they started out and they had Kurt Rambis on me, a man with glasses who couldn't see me. Hey, no. I can't pull on the Kurt Rambis glasses. No. <laughs> I think it's Kurt Rambis fake nose, too. Let me see. How does the Rambis glasses go? <laughs> <laughs> no way that was gonna happen. And then they put Worthy on me, and I was like, and I remember scoring on him Worthy, and I looked at him, I said, I looked over that bench, and I scored on him, and I said, that bitch can't guard me. <laughs> <laughs> and he dropped, and Big James dropped his head, and McAdoo, let me say this, and you and Cooper, you know when you got a man when he dropped his damn head. That's the end of the story. Cedric Maxwell had to personally exploit I felt that I had to take a lot of responsibility on my shoulders. I have been nervous all day, and I could not sleep just anticipating. I think I was more like a caged animal ready to break loose. And it was only a matter of time before I came out and scored a lot of points in the series. <laughs> you look at it, and he don't say nothing. You know you got it.